Okay. Today is um, the 17th, August 17th, 2012. Whoops. Let me adjust the LED here so I can see if I'm in the frame, and I am. I am uh, haven't made a video in a while, so I thought I should uh, make one so you know I'm still around. I'm... Uh, I think I mentioned this maybe before in a video that I'm I'm using Linux only. I do not have Windows on my computer. Here we go. Maybe different desktops. Uh, I'm getting along fine without Windows. Except, I think I might have run into something. I uh, tried to join a couple YouTube uh, live sessions, and I can't get into it. It looks like it wants me to start my own, but I don't see that. Uh, so I don't know. I have to check into that. But so far, other than that, I haven't had a problem. But this is um, I'm doing just fine without Windows. But I did. Uh, few days ago, I have, I think I might have three now, I did have two, I still do, two Google Gmail accounts. And it's a problem because when I log in to uh, Google AdSense or Google uh, Analysis or whatever, it wants to log me in with the wrong one, or I have to move over to this one. And it's, <coughs> I never deliberately created two Google Gmail accounts. It's Google taking over something that I was already signed up for and I ended up with. So I thought, although it would have hurt me in a way, I thought, okay, I'm going to do it with this one Google Gmail account. And so I logged into it and I went to the thing to delete it. And uh, it says, are you sure you want to delete this? Like, yes, you know, positively sure. You know, you don't have any second thoughts. No, 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 I want to delete it. And I deleted and it deleted my the, the Google account, not that one, but the one that I use, the one that has everything on, the one that has years, you know, my Google Gmail account. Uh, that you know, and I, oh man. Now here I deliberately wiped out Windows. No big deal, don't care. But man, I lost this Google account, you know, the Gmail account. And I thought, what am I going to do? Everything I, I have, everything is set up to send messages to that account. Um, I log, you know, and uh, anyway, I did a search on Google, you know, restore Gmail account. Gave me, a, gave me a, a URL. I went there and I just logged in with my one I had just deleted with that, you know, Gmail account. I entered that password. Everything was back, so thank God. But I'm running only Linux on this uh, computer, and what I'm going to do now is, and this is sort of a test, uh, there's a couple programs, Linux programs, that look really good, and I want to see if I can make a video clip here, and make another little video clip here and maybe another one, and then when I finish with it, uh, edit those and join them together, like I could, say, with Windows Movie Maker. So I'm going to stop this just so I can, I'll move the camera over, just so I can have a um, some clips to add together, so hang on. I have to remember not to push the on and off button. Instead, I have to push the shutter release button. Okay, I'm back. I just moved the uh, camera a little bit. Uh, <coughs> I, let me move this again so I can see what you can see. Okay. <coughs> this is my... Uh, I'm using... Well, I've, I've got a blog set up on TypePad. I've got blogs, several blogs set up on uh, 
uh, blogger and this one set up on WordPress. And I like the WordPress right now the best. But uh, what was I going to say about that? I was going to say something and I forgot. Over here running on the uh, and I'm just running that just for your benefit or whatever. That is uh, Oh, God, where's the movie? Where's the DVD case? Anyway, that's uh, BBS, the documentary. And you can, uh, the, the guy who created it uh, allows people to copy, you know, he'd like for you to purchase it, of course, but he allows people to uh, download it or copy it or do various things with it. And you can see I don't know whether you can see all of it on YouTube, but you can see um, various, you know, segments of it. So, I'm all dark. Whoops. Oh, I lightened up. I have the power. Uh, I'm in that uh, PBS, but I have, or the, the documentary, but I only have a very few short lines. But it's a three DVD set and I went out to the premiere in California uh, and uh, the guy who, who made this said, Jim, of all, when, the, when this is being shown, your comment gets the biggest laugh, you know, on the entire set. He says, I hope that's all right. I said, I don't care. Oh, my Radio Shack, there's our Radio Shack Model 100. I mean, uh, no, not the 100, the 100 was a portable. That was the Radio Shack uh, Tandy one. What was, Tandy one that, what was it? Radio Shack Model 1. There's the pet. I never had an Apple computer of any sort, but I did play with that. I'm not sure it was that race. I went in a library one, or tried to. I couldn't, I didn't know what to do with it. Um, so, um, you want to hear the audio maybe for a second here? There were a sysop. High schools are full of sysops. It's Crazy Eddie's greatest home computer sale ever, and Crazy Eddie's... Okay, I, uh, I think I've probably done enough to test this. Seems like I should say something worthwhile. I told you about having the trouble getting into the Google Live thing. I can, I, I can do. I tell you what. I'll see. We'll see if it works. When I upload this, I will go to. I'll start the Google Live thing for an hour. I'll be there in the chat room, so you can join me if you want to. We'll see how that. Works. Fade it out again. I don't have the power. Anyway, I guess this is enough for me to test. Oh, I'm actually, let me show you the program. Minimize. Go over to, see, graphics. No, sound and video. And which one is it? Let's see. Open shot, that's not it. KDN Live, that's it. KDN Live. There it is. I'm going to stop this video so I have something else to... Uh, I'm back! I'm going to stop this video so I have something to... Uh, have, so I have three to slice together. Got to remember not to push the on and off button, but to push the... Sh Some of the boards just got clobbered. Oh my god! Forgot it's the day after Christmas. <laughs> I think one of my clips is coming up. We're I'm in it, I think. Any boards today at all? In fact, I think a lot of people will actually use this as one word. Twelve-year-olds who got a vote for Christmas. Yes. You had this mass of new callers that had no clue 
And uh, I know a lot of boards, mine included, a couple of years, we'd actually close the system down to new users for the first two months out of the year. Go cut your teeth someplace else. We don't want to hassle them. For those of us who've been there for many years, who'd had lengthy conversations as well as all the different types of interaction that had happened there, the, the sudden influx of Van Halen rules messages and, and the message counts just went through the roof because they were all very short one sentence, me too kind of messages. Their, their behavior just wasn't very adult like and uh, they would really melt off and bash people and steal their code. I can't remember you know, where I am in this. Pure anarchists. Uh, you know, they just love creating chaos. It gave us a voice that no one had before. We had no idea what to do with it. You took sticks of dynamite and handed them to 12 year olds and said, now if you can find the lighter, you can make this go boom. And well, we found the lighter. <laughs> okay. Think There's I'm... a serious rift between any of the 8-bit users. Yeah, I think I'm coming up. Anyway, here's the uh, name, maximize it. So, that's what I'm going to do is uh, load this video into this Linux program. See if I can successfully edit it or something. So, okay, minimize it. I keep thinking that one of my video clips is going to pop up on here. I haven't watched this thing in years. In fact, I've never group of followers. Each group of followers was very faithful to the company they chose. Uh, well, Atari's were the best computers ever made. The, it's, forget it. Uh, the Apple II was the only software thing in town. The Commodore, I think, did more to get people into computers than anything else on the planet. When you thought of Atari, you thought of the highest quality, you know, the, the best games, the best, you know, the best of everything. So it made sense that, you know, if they come out with a computer, God, it's got to be the best thing around. I'll put a, the Apple was a link to where you can purchase this DVD. And, uh, Lisa was beautiful, so I fell in love with Lisa. Tandy did have a great computer, which you may be talking about, the Coco, the, the color computer. Uh, 64, it was everywhere. They're great, because they're the coolest. You understand what's going on with an Apple II. It's not going to trick you. <laughs> Nothing sneaky is going to happen on an Apple II. They break down, you put them in the closet, and they heal themselves. The Commodore is definitely the one that uh, I have like 10 of them at home, just in case. I'll have one till the day I die. And so they would invent in their own mind any justification to show that the other computer was a piece of crap. And we used to call the Apple people the blockheads because everything All was in case. capitals. <laughs> they never used their shift keys. Oh gosh, we hated Trash 80. And a TRS-80 guy would never own an Apple, and an Apple guy would never own a TRS-80. I think I didn't like the Commodores, just the way they were shaped. I, actually, IBM was kind of like the enemy. The Trash 80s were, were toys. I remember seeing people, you know, viciously attacking people nonstop in the message boards. They were Hello. people that I would actually follow a guy around and keep an eye on Let's him and see keep lashing out. out at him. And anyway, I'll, people, um, you know, bulletin boards. if I it get really, this uploaded. got that serious. If you were a Commodore user and you were... By the way, about this debate, I had uh, Radio Shack Model 1 was my... Well, I had a Texas Instrument uh, TI-99 or whatever programmable calculator that was like a computer really but my first real computer and I had uh, you know those game machines but I had uh, Radio Shack Model 1 was my first computer but I ran and I ran my BBS on it for years and then I ran it on Commodore 64 for years and years and I've had a bunch of computers you know Commodore 64 Commodore SX 64 which was their portable uh, the VIC-20, you know, Commodore computer. I had a two Tandy 2000 computers. I had their portable uh, Tandy 100. Uh, oh, man, you know, on and on. I've had a lot of computers. Spent a lot of money. Anyway, let's see how this all works out. Perhaps I'll see you in the chat room if that works out.